Hey plant people, Like a Magic here. Let's go over some watering tips. Now, I do the same for all my plants. So whenever you water, we make sure that we are looking for plants that are dry or almost dry. For this Shivariana, it looks like the substrate is pretty dry, so it could use some water. Whenever we water, we water with our nutrient water and the plant food. And as you can see, I only poured just a little bit in the bottom. Now for the plants that aren't in a double pot method, I like to take it a little slower. Um, I only do a little bit of water at a time for this one as well. As you can see, the container has a little bit of moisture in there, so it's not going to need a lot of water. Now as you can see, the water slowly trickles down because of the chunky aeroid mix. And once I see that water hit the bottom, I can see where the water level is at. I know that is good to go. Now, I do not recommend putting your plants in a single cup like this. The double pot method works best. Our substrate mix is super chunky, so the water is not going to hold for very long. It evaporates or gets absorbed by the roots very fast. About once a week, we have the water. Now, for our plants on moss poles, I like to water from the moss pole and then let the rest of the water trickle down into the pot. And if it doesn't trickle down to the pot, that's okay. I'll just water it straight from the pot. Now, a lot of you have asked, how long does it take for a moss pole to get watered? Um, this whole process right here, um, it's sped up by a bunch, but it took about 25, almost 30 minutes for about one and a half liters of water to fill the entire moss pole and to allow for a little bit of water to trickle down to the bottom. And as you can see, the moss pole is fully saturated. These roots inside are very, very happy. This moss pole will stay moist for about a week. This is why I love using them. And as you can see at the very bottom, we have just a little bit of water hanging down there. And that's what I'm looking for. That's what I like to see. But like I said, I generally don't recommend doing a single pot. The double pot works a lot better. So if you do have too much water in your pot, it is easy to take out. I hope these tips help. Thanks for watching.